And uh, I used to like the great characters, the Tony Currys and, and the Billy Whitehursts of this world. And I used to watch Billy and I used to admire his style. I used to think that he was a, a man's man. And of course, when I got to actually meet him and be invited down to his pub, I, I was struck by how the mighty have fallen, if I, if I can put it that way, without being disrespectful to him. And I went to one of the less salubrious areas of Rotherham, to the public house that he rang at that time. And uh, I remember it was, uh, it was a day when I'd just bought a new car. I got a brand new BM. And uh, it was a lovely car, that blue metro. And I parked outside the, uh, the pub and we were waiting to go in. And in the doorway of this, of this pub in this area, that looked a little bit like a sort of a upmarket Beirut. <laughs> and there's a dog in the in the in the foyer area of the of the pub. And the the usual signs, uh, all uh, guns and knives to be left in the foyer. And uh, and I couldn't get in because this dog's growl growl and it looked like a cross between a wolf and a lion. And it got mange, nits, or oh, and it's growling at me. Anyway, Billy saw me and he opened the door and he, he bade me in and the dog scampered in. And we went into a little back room. And as we walked in, he said, do you want a drink? I said, yes, I will. And he, he shouted to Vera, the then uh, barmaid. He said, what do you want? I said, well, I'll have a pint of lager. He said, Vera, a pint of lager. Which, which lager do you want? So, uh, charming lady. And uh, we went into this little bar, and this dog is looking at me, grrr, and I found that everything in, in and around Billy was aggression. And this dog's looking at me, grrr, growling. And as we're speaking about this case, this dog then does what you expect it to do on, on, on the grass verge outside. And it was apparent to me that whatever this dog had done, it hadn't done it for about three months. And we got Mount Vesuvius, if you like, there in front of this fire. Well, Billy looked at me. I looked at the dog. The dog growled at me. I looked at Billy. Billy looked at the dog. I looked at the dog. The dog growled at me. Then Billy growled. Billy growled, and I thought, well, this is this is this is too much for me. So we we had the conversation, and I got to give him a form to sign. I always remember this. And and at the bottom it said, sign. And I passed this to Billy, and he wrote. Capricorn. <laughs> so, so, anyway, we, we finally finished the conversation about his case and how we're going to fight these people who'd lied about him, knocking everybody out in this barroom brawl. And uh, I said, before I go, Billy, are there any questions? And Billy looked at me and said, yeah, two. I said, what's that? He said, the first question is, will he be coming back? And I said, well, I probably might have to as I looked around. And I said, what's the other question? He said, when you come, he said, uh, you'll not be bringing your dog, will you? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was one case we fought and, and, and happily won that. We managed to uh, prove his innocence, so to speak. And uh, we caught rent a witness out, as I've told you. And we shook hands, I always remember it, and he said, um, I'll take you for a night out with me. I said, must you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 